In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run the best blitz in Madden 23. At least at launch, this is probably going to be the best blitz um, in the game. Now, I played the beta, and what we saw in the gridiron nodes is that this actually, uh, the beta is going to be kind of what the real game plays like. Like, they're not gonna wholesale change a lot of the things. And so a lot of things that we found in the beta are still going to apply. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's free to do that, and it just lets you know whenever I post new uh, videos um, about Madden. I post pretty much every single day on launch week. We're gonna be posting a ton of content. So if you wanna make sure to be able to just kinda know as much as you can about Madden, how to be better, uh, I would really encourage you to hit the subscribe button. The next thing that I wanna talk about in this video is how we're going to basically utilize the nickel 245 odd at launch as probably the best defense, at least day one, right out of the box. You can pick it up and play it for two reasons. Number one, it's really good. And number two, it's really simple to set up anybody can run this defense it's literally just calling a defense we're going to show you how to set this play up um, but the play is nickel two four five odd and the play we're going to be going over is pinch two it's a really simple setup it's kind of uh, cover two is one of the best coverages to blitz out of in madden over um, that's that's been true historically it's been one of the best uh, ways to blitz all uh, in, in almost any madden you'll see a good cover two blitz pinch two is going to be really good next year um, or in a couple days i guess and we'll show you why so um, all we're going to do is we're going to baseline and press. And the reason we baseline and press is because it's going to get this guy a little bit more outside and it's going to get this guy a little bit more outside. If you don't want to baseline and press, then don't. You don't have to. But I think personally, if you don't baseline and press, um, you're going to, you, you might notice that the blitz isn't as good. Anyways, you're going to use the vert hook on the running back side. You can do whatever you want with the coverage on the right. I like to shave my coverage underneath and then maybe re soft squad or re cloud or do whatever with this outside cornerback, okay? But I like the, the vert hooks um, when you shade them underneath because they play underneath stuff better, like drag routes, like quick wheels, stuff like that, okay? Anyways, what you're gonna see is the snap of the ball. We're going to get pressure um, typically off the left or right edge, if not both, okay? Off the left or the right edge, if not both. Now, one of the beauties of base aligning this defense is I think the pressure comes in a little bit more, more consistently um, if you base align it. There you see we get some disengaged A gaps. That's that's still there, but it's not as good. Um, really, the better way to kind of plan this pressure is we're just trying to you know kind of attack the guard. And as you can see, we're able to get this kind of pinballing in the line of scrimmage and able to get the pressure in. This is really good against a blocked running back. Blocked running back's the best way to pick this up, but sometimes it doesn't pick it up, okay? Here you see that he did, he was able to pick it up, but I'm just telling you, in Madden 23, this blitz is even better than it was in Madden 22, and in Madden 22, it was really good. Um, you know, this is one of the most popular meta blitzes of Madden 22. Honestly, if it hadn't been for Escape Artist, this probably would have been the best defense in Madden 22. Um, you kind of needed 3-3-5 wide to contain the quarterback, but this is a really good defense. Now, another thing you can do to make this even better is spread your linebackers. Um, and this is just gonna kind of get him a little bit wider of an angle, a little bit more time for the blitz to come in. In Madden 23, they rush off the edge so fast that it's really hard to pick up this linebacker, okay? So anyways, that is pretty much the 245 odd. I've got a full ebook on it. If you want to learn um, how I was running it in Madden 22, a lot of it's gonna transfer over to Madden 23. Uh, we will have an ebook on 245 odd, I'm sure, in the course of the season. If you wanna get all of my ebooks, make sure you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, get you access to all of my ebooks as long as you're a member. We had over 30 ebooks in Madden 22. We're planning to release even more for you guys for Madden 23. So if you wanna stay up to date on the best strategies, best, best schemes in Madden, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. You can do that by clicking the link in the description below. It's only $10 to become a member. And like I said, it gets you access to everything. It gets you access to all the stuff we've done prior, like Madden 21 and, and Madden 22, and it also gets you uh, all of our stuff for Madden 23. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, if you wanna join the membership, link is in the description.